All right, what's up, guys? So last week, ended up uh, getting a new toy here, Trimble. If anybody knows what this is? Let's pull it out here and take a little look. This is a Trimble Geo XT. Here's the uh, antenna. You can see the, the screen is actually uh, just put a new screen protector on there, so it's pretty shiny. I haven't even really used it. Um, it's got some buttons down here. Pretty simple power. Some other hot keys and some other little uh, kind of like a little D-pad right here. And the Windows button and the OK button. And right here it's got a pen, a stylist. Pretty easy. Just pop it in and out. You can actually uh, put a little, like, little uh, tether right through there, and then right through here, and that will actually keep it from falling in the on the ground or the wetlands or wherever you may be working. Let's turn this thing on here. Just hit the power button. Uh, I don't know if we can be able to see this or not. All right, just shut that thing off there. All right. So, if I go out here, I'm going to quickly close this thing. Basically, it is a Windows operating system. As you can see, it uh, has everything here, like the today, stuff like that. This is actually version 6. Um, the TSC2 runs version 5.03. I think it's compatible with running 6. Um, it's just that the Trimble survey software is not compatible with running with it. So. Everything that's on here, let's see here. It's a quick little peek. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to see any of this because it's pretty bright. But uh, I'm going to go to the wireless manager. Um, it's got Bluetooth, Wi Fi. So I got the Bluetooth is on, invisible. So I can uh, connect to other devices. Um, one thing I'm trying to do with it is connect it to our, uh, we got a new R6. And to get bonus um, I think we can actually use uh, this as a sub foot with that receiver I don't think it will use VRS in our state um, the geo the next one up uh, does I didn't think we got that one because we really don't need to because we're not going to use it for survey grade um, we can always load the, the TerraSync software on our TSC2 if we need to so the K button uh, let's see here so easiest way to start this thing up is to Hit start, Terra Sync. It's pretty. Uh, and now it didn't. It didn't come loaded with Terra Sync. Um, we actually had to load that on. So that was one thing we had to do for it right away. Uh, it is a um, pretty easy step. You just pop the disk in, follow the instructions, check for updates. So here we have our it's searching for satellites. I know this will be kind of blurry, but you get the idea. So it's zero, full battery. And then here we can go to our data. Here we can enter a new file name as a rover. So we can either do a rover or a base. We're going to do a rover type. I'm not sure what the base is yet. I'm still trying to uh, determine that. Um, you can see here what it does is it pulls up a keyboard right through here so you can type everything in here. Basically just hit your name and that's it hit OK. And then if you wanted to go to setup, uh, you can see, I'll see if I can get this a little better shot. Right there. Okay, and then the coordinate system. I'll hit that. And basically what it does is it has the same type of coordinate system that you'd have on the TSC2. So here I have it set for Minnesota County coordinates, Hennepin County. And the datum, you can adjust all that just by scrolling down. You go to survey feet, stuff like that. OK. You're done. GPS settings, we go right in here. Uh, we can actually specify like the productivity or the precision. I assume that's kind of for if we're working in trees, if we want to get stuff done quickly but not have a lot of precision, we can set that. If we uh, want to have more precision and we to pick a little longer, we would just set that. So that's pretty cool and easy right there. Haven't really too much problem. And here's the residuals. You got your max PDOP, 
and your minimal uh, signal to noise ratio and we can filter velocities NEMA output we can turn that on and off and that's that and if we had the R6 hooked up it would actually give us the GLONASS option so we can see the Russian satellites let's hit the cancel button there and then the map let's see status this is just basically gonna tell us our satellites which aren't on there because we are inside navigation this is kinda neat when you do finally get it going and you've got enough satellites it'll start telling you direction distance turn um, you can actually go down here see you can see velocity so you can see your velocity your altitude I mean you can see a lot of stuff with it this is a really cool navigation system it's kind of expensive for navigation but uh, you know probably running total package seventy five hundred bucks so on that you can set all this stuff so you can mul have multiple different things here which is really nice and waypoints of course everybody knows what waypoints are it's kind of like your breadcrumb trail yeah, let's see then we'll go to our map now if we had stuff loaded on here we had waypoints and stuff we could see those I don't have anything loaded up on here yet we just got it so I'm still trying to figure it out but basically you can have layers kind of like you would and you can see GPS trail background background would be like an aerial photography this thing will actually support uh, full aerial photography I think you have to bring it in through Pathfinder software so uh, let's see what else options you can kind of see there's going to be an auto pan for our GPS position so in case we're walking along we're zoomed in it's just going to keep following us kind of like your everyday navigation system so set nav start, set nav target I'll have to keep uh, keep going some of that stuff here, I, I just got it and just messing around with it and but it's got a little record button right there and a play button so I assume we hit record and then wherever we're walking it'll just kinda of draw a line or polyline and we can export that so and let's see alright so that, that's basically the front of it Turn the light back on here again. And I'll hit the power button here. Shuts off just like that. On the bottom here you have uh, some set screws. There's a, a uh, SD card reader in here. I think it might take high capacity. I'm going to try that tonight. And it's got a antenna port. So you can just peel this thing off of here. And there's an antenna, standard antenna port in there. You can plug a one that's magnets at the top of your roof or you can use a different like Bluetooth antenna too and just to kinda has a strap for the back and this is kinda neat too you need to get a, uh, a, a adapter here for plugging into a car not really that much money but it, it'd be really nice to have if you're gonna get one of these so just kinda hold it pretty nice little unit take it out tomorrow and give it a try so that's the Trimbo G GOXT. If you're interested, uh, check your local dealer. They'll give you a little demo. Thanks a lot.